William O'Connor took the last match to a deciding leg against Jamie Lewis. Will this go down to a decider? We've already seen Stephen Bunting. The minute he misses double 20, goes to double 16. What will Webby do? Now, what no we should see, Rod, is that if that happens again, people go the same way. You've got to have a plan, haven't you? You certainly have one, and if that first dart covers up the double, you've got to switch straight nice away. You've got to go on that stage and say, this is what I'm going to do. And you start to distract from that, that's when there's a problem. I mean, where is he going to switch now? And now he's gone for the tens. An unusual switch there for Ooh, Webster, but it certainly worked for him. Like I said, you've got to have a plan. <laughs> he's just deviated away from uh, his plan already as Mark. We've mentioned it before, we will mention it again. The double start is difficult, and what it can do, it can upset your rhythm. And what Mark's got to do, and exactly what Jamie Lewis did in the last game, was who had a dismal first leg, is just put it behind him and crack on. Well, you know that if you really have a bad leg, you know your opponent's going to have a few as well. You just got to make sure you clean those up. Now, that's a brilliant dart from Webster. He should follow that up. But Bunting on 76 to clean this first leg up. And it certainly gives him some confidence as well. The double eight. Well, that's a long way off. That one. We'll be back. But another confidence boost in high score for Mark would help. Mark is now a father, so that might have settled him down and make him kick on again to be the world champ that he, he was back in 2008. That is Stephen Bunting wrapping up the first leg with ease, it has to say, but that was because Webby did not get off quick enough. He's off this time. Yes, and that's a great score to start the leg. What happens is, mine, as you know, if you start to miss it, it eats into you. You start to miss again and then again, then you're starting to get edgy. Instead of attacking 16. the board, you, you're kind of throwing the dart saying, please go in instead of, you know, get in. But that was a better throw from Webster. Now he needs to take advantage of it. Oh, treble 19 will help. 81. Yeah, it really is a confidence sapping format. There'll be millions of players up and down the country saying, we play double in, double out all the time. It's, it's easy. Well, it's not. 60. Not up on the big stage in front of the cameras and big crowds. I'm playing for a £100,000 first prize. Uh, nice. It's about the money. <laughs> well, the crowd have calmed down a little bit after the first game where Jamie Lewis, the Irish, and then William O'Connor. In a perfect first start for Webster. Oh, it looks good for a 180 from Mark Webster. That's exactly what it is, the first one of this match. He certainly sets it up to come back the two darts at a double. Well, apart from fluffing his lines at the start, Webby hasn't missed an awful lot, has he? Started the leg on tops. Not going to finish on tops. Double ten now. Game really important dart. He gets it. It's indeed. Double trouble in Dublin. No trouble there, and no trouble there. What a start! What a start! This is where the the big guns like Bunting will be thinking of a nine darter. Another 180. 48. Will he 161? Well, it certainly get that tournament off to a flyer if Stephen Bunting can find another treble, and this is exactly what he does. Folks are only in the second game, and we're on a possible nine dart leg. We had two last year in the same match James Wade, Robert Thornton. And now Stephen Bunting steps up for the treble 20 with that first dart. Already drama. 
Well, it was an excellent effort, but he's in control of the leg. And Mark says, good effort. It's nice and friendly, isn't it? Didn't get any of that in Bristow's day. It'd have been, ah, get off. I always wanted my opponent to get one because I always thought that I'll take the next two or three legs because they're still you know, waving at the crowd and heating the applause up. Oh, another good leg. I mean, this is a this is a high standard for double in and bunting up over the hundred. Ninety-five. It's unlucky for Mark, but he has left the finish. Double ten. He thought that was in. Went to walk. No school. Well, that's not a bad thing. If you're going to miss the double ten, that's a good thing. He comes back for double top. He may not come back for double top if Webster finds the 57. Oh, right on the bottom wire. Well, he's done himself a favour there, Bunting, because he'd never gone in the ten and coming back for those fives. That's not the nicest route, but the double top. Oh, no, beside the double fives. Wild again. It was a real poor first dart. And that caused the rush on the second and the poor dart on the third. Just lacking a bit of composure there, Stephen Bunting. Time to punish Stephen Bunting. And Mark Webster's now gone low, but he hit this the previous leg yeah, and he's hit it again. That's a nick nick form. Mark well, Webster, Stephen Bunting, those last three darts were, in, were a long way off. I mean, a good half an inch away. Yeah, the first dart was poor and just didn't compose himself. And Webby, after 79. losing the first leg, hasn't made too many mistakes, has he? He started off the last leg, 160. 80. He was away with 80. Oh, ironic. That's the double top first dart. That's what he missed in the previous leg on two occasions. This is a solid One start hundred. from Webster. Just needs to hold on to his throw and walk into this first break one set up. And it would be a breaker throw as well. With the pressure. It's going to be on Stephen Bunting. You kind of think with Mark Webster that he, he needs something to happen on the big stage, doesn't he? He needs a catalyst to kick on again. And we know he's playing better, but he, you need to do it when it counts. And there's no bigger tournaments than than those that are televised. It raises your profile. Bunting somehow just keeps playing well. And keeps getting beat. And he's doing the important thing. I'm sure he's going to treble. It's okay, it puts the pressure on Bunting. He's going to get six darts. Probably from 1 4 1 when he comes back, Webster. A nice bad visit again from Stephen Bunting. He really is given this set away. Now six darts from 1 4 1. Just needs to stay straight. Perhaps a 25 with this dart might be the one. No, he stayed on the treble. Yeah, Stephen's last three visits, it's like he's feeling the pressure. He's got to put that right. That's better. Just starting to tie up. Yeah, like that one, that was four. Four for the first set. One. The tops. That is accomplished finishing from Webby. He wins the first set against the favourite, Stephen Bunting. The bullet is in trouble. Started 160, 180. He was looking like a nine darter, and he ended up losing the leg. Yeah, crazy leg of darts for Bunyan to lose. A good couple of handfuls at the double, and now he's put himself in a real bad position. 
He needs to get the double in first dart, and he needs to follow it up with a treble. What he needs to do, Wayne, he's got to break Mark Webster in his first leg, because if he doesn't, then all the extra pressure is going to be piling on him. And Webby's just thinking, you know, now I'm in, just stay straight. A ton every throw should do me. Put the pressure on Bunting. It's not paramount to, to win the first set. People can win from behind. It's just more difficult, that's all. Yeah, limited to the mistakes you can make. But Webby seems unfazed by the fact that he's missed a few big tournaments. He's been away from the limelight. He's acquitting himself very well. A chance here for Bunting, but 93. The treble with the third dart, but one treble is not going to be enough. He needs to start finding two trebles on the visit, especially on the Webster throw. Unless Webster has a few visits like that without a major treble, so now a chance here for Bunting to really do something in this first leg. They're both finding it hard work, aren't they? They're not making the game of darts look particularly easy. There's a bit of pulling and snatching everywhere. There might be too much thinking going on. No player has really found their top rhythm. Just need something to happen. And when they have got going, like Bunting did with that 160, 180, he then couldn't, he couldn't finish the, the leg. But he's throwing far too many darts low. 59. Yeah, darts low is always a sign of tension. A lot of nerves creeping in. Sixty. Steve Yeo, one hundred and twelve. Starting an edgy game of darts now. It started off pretty good in the first set. Double sixteen for Martin, and that would have been a breaker throw. So now Webster, a good chance here to hold on to his throat. Starting on the 57. We'll stay there for a 57 if he gets it. That leaves tops. Well, I'd be disappointed not to have at least one dart at a double. 92. Steven Yeun 16. To win his first leg of the second set against the darts. No score. Well, I, I was very surprised that Bundy didn't move a, about a couple of feet to the right to open up that double. Where he was standing, the flight's through his way, and he's opened it up again for Mark Webster to come in and nick the leg. Yeah, and on the double six, leg. he's done exactly Mark that. Webster. And now so Bunting, he really Webster. is, he's yeah. crucified himself on the doubles. Well, after four legs, Stephen was averaging just shy of 100. We've seen him do that before. He was averaging 88 to Mark's 82, but you get the feeling that this really could go to the last knock-ins because both 48. are not firing on all cylinders. If anyone looks to be doing anything special, it's this man. Again, go on. Ah. 100. The problem is, Wayne, Bunting is thinking, I've got to score heavier because I need extra darts at a double. And that's not the mindset to have. You've got to stay relaxed on your check out you tighten up they're always for a right-handed player they're always going to come to the left-hand side of the double and he's going to have to switch you can't see that treble 20. 57. They're just forcing them a bit Mark Webster 97. leads the head-to-head -head stats three zip they haven't played for the last 16 months, so it's kind of irrelevant. 58. Well, a good chance here for Webster. He can find a couple of trebles, which is not going to. So Bunting's going to come back. <coughs> Looking at those 16. 19s, well, he's going to get six starts from 126. So he doesn't have to go to his route in the bullseye. 76. He's going for the bullseye to leave double eight. Yeah, there was no reason to go the 57s, and he, he didn't. I don't know if Stephen's got something in his eye. 60. Stephen, you 50. 
Now, this will be interesting what way he goes. Because don't forget, he's starting on tops. Well, that, I find the psychology of that. Why doesn't he start on 32 if he favours it? Is it? It can't be the, the thinking of the nine data. That, that's, that's wrong. Well, it's possible. Oh, he's now had a treble 12. Yeah, and the thing about Stephen Bunting comes to these 16s and 8s, with that tension in his arm, he's pulling them to the left, and when he pulls them to the left, the flight is covering up the double. So he's better than, well, he's gone straight in the double. I was going to say, he's going to miss, he's better than miss inside, so he's got an open target on the 8s. But no need for that. One leg all in this second set. Don't forget, it's only best of three sets. To walk off the stage with two. And this man, Stephen Bunting, under immense pressure to hold on to his throat and win this set. 37. That was a brilliant start from Mark. At this point of the game where Stephen really cannot afford to miss anything, Mark's put him under all sorts of pressure. He's put him right under the cosh. And Stephen, he just does look tight to me. There's... He's got much fluency in his game right now. And you see the look on his face, he looks concerned. He seems to be pushing the darts a lot. And if you see with Mark, Mark kind of sways as he's letting go of the dart. Look, he pulls it back and he's just swaying. That in golf is uh, not a good sign. The same in darts. He's literally building up momentum to throw it, isn't he? Yeah, so you only got to get your arm. And sink, you've got to get your sway in sync as well. <laughs> 100. There's been many mover on the hockey over the years. Get the one up manly. Well, they they all work. rock all over the place. Yeah, they all work, Wayne, when you're on form. But it's when you're not on form, that's when the flaws start to come out, and that's when you're struggling. 86. And at the moment, well, both the players are not very fluent at all. Whether he's in control of this leg, he wants another one of those. Double 12. 132. In control of this leg and in control of the match. Stephen Bunting. This is a 2 to 5 shot to win this match. Webby, 7 to 4 outsider. Double 6. It's a good marker for him. Obviously, that's a better marker for him. Game shot the third leg, Mark Weston. Well, oh, he said there's going to be plenty of upsets tonight and tomorrow night in this first round here in Dublin, the Grand Prix. Best of five legs. 89. Set, only best of three sets. And certainly now, and especially with Webster getting off first dart, this looks good for Mark Webster. He's going to pile the pressure on Stephen Bunting. Now, we're going to see the character of Stephen Bunting. Well, I think we did in that last shot, Rod, because missing tops and then it in 32-57. I thought that was brilliant. It was a courageous shot. He chose to just switch away straight away, and he's still in this leg, and he's still in the match. He's getting so tight now, it really is. And don't forget, Mark Webster has not been playing on the big stage as often as he'd like and Stevens had trouble winning matches and Webster the same so I'm expecting some nerves to be showing around about now well it is going to come out the nerves when you're, you're giving yourself chances to close the match out that's when the little demons come back and like I said you say please go in instead of just getting the guard in, but Steve Bunting, that's a great setup. up one, one seven two the lead the double 16. However, Bunting has been a little bit dodgy on that side of the board. 59, Steve Bunting, will be thinking if you get this, I've got the darts. If you don't get it, I'm going to get everything I can on the one six four. So it's all come down to this really for Webby. If he holds throw, he wins the match, and he will play the winner of Adrian Lewis or Raymond Van Barneveld. What a start for Mark Webster! 
Stephen Bunting, anything less than a ton. He's really under the cosh, and you have to say that's excellent darts as well. He really has had the pressure piled on him, and even more from Mark Webster now. Mark Webster can see the finishing line. needs big travels that's all he could do from there he still holds the advantage he should get six darts from 201 a minimum of six darts well, Stephen's got to think now okay may go bullseye 100. good thinking my man leaves a 167 if it's if he'd have it a 20 would left 172 which wasn't enough good thinking by Stephen that now needs to find the treble and doesn't do it so it's opened the door up for Stephen Bunting if he doesn't take it out he's got to leave himself a two dart finish but the 57 needs to find another treble 99 needed to come back with two darts instead of one and immediately he hits the treble he will get his two darts but pressure now for Stephen Bunting he will come back to the board to level the sets up 97. This simply has to go. 60. 16 or an 8. Tops now to save the match. What a dart that was. He showed all his character, all his experience there. Um, the, the fact that Stephen decided to leave tops. Basically, Rod, he's not comfortable on either, is he? He's not too sure whether he's coming or going on top sort 32, but what he did there was showed composure 80. of a world champion. And that's what he was back in 2014, just last year. Now the pressure's on Mark Webster, and you have to say that at last leg he kicks seven. off with a 120, follows it up with another good score, and then just went off the boil, opened the door up for Stephen Bunting, and he didn't want a second chance. 95. Another game. The first one went to the third set. And I think we're going to see a lot of matches tonight go to that third set. But it was a 15 dart leg. And it's double star. That, that is fantastic. That really is. And he needed to do that. Under that pressure. Kudos, my friend. Well done. 44. He's getting a lot of darts low, though, Steve, especially the first one. And the first one's the most important dart you're going to throw. It doesn't go in the no, treble. It needs to be in a good position to be a guide. And Stephen Bunting's first darts, so many of them, you know, are inch low. And you can't find the treble too often from there. And there we have it again. So he's going to have to switch. Now he's staying on the trebles. I would sum this up, Rod, as a typical first-round match. It really is. They're, they're both feeling the pressure. They just both want to get into the game. It's only the second match of the, the tournament. And as we know, if you, uh, if you, you go out early, it just, it, it's worse going out on the first night, isn't it? You, you don't even feel part of it. You don't even feel involved. I've felt like that many a time, I'm afraid. <laughs> it makes you feel sick. Yes, I've been there a couple of times. Too many times to remember, to be quite honest. But, uh, <laughs> Well, he's not only going to get a dart at the bullseye, he's going to go for the 14. No, he hasn't. No, he's going for double top. And yeah, double top, he hits. He took a chance there that Bunting wasn't going to go out on the 170, so he goes for the 8 instead of the 14 bullseye. And takes it out. So a breaker throw. And again, Webster is in the driving seat. Started better. 157. Brilliant. Well, he was in big trouble in the last set. All sorts of bother now. 32. There's going to come a point, in my opinion, if Bunting does win this match, that he will probably start on 32 in his next match because his double top hitting has been inconsistent, to say the least. High, low. It's 
unlucky. 137. How many times have we said this, Rob? Mark Webster is in control again. But it's all about getting over the finishing line. And like I said, he hasn't been on the big stage properly for a little while. He just needs that first game, a win here. And your, your confidence gets higher and higher. You think you're on your road, on the road back. After the disappointment of losing the last set and not winning the match, this is some set by Mark Webster. This is some performance, honestly. He's tried absolutely everything, and now he's a leg away again. Well, that's the third time Stephen Bunting's gone off with a 160. He's got to win all three legs, otherwise it will be Mark Webster into the second round here at the City West. Day one here, good audience as well. That dark kind of sums up Bunting's evening so far. Pulled short, looked a bit cumbersome. 60. Sometimes looks like he's trying to throw too quick to me, Stephen. You've got to be ready, you've got to be set. Follow. 100. He's just pushing the dart and body coming forward. When the body comes forward on release, nine times out of ten, the dart's going to go low. 58. Been punished. Been at least six darts from 198. Well, it is the next leg that's going to be the crucial one. 100. He managed to break the throw in the previous set to, to win it and put himself into the last set, but Webster. Won't have a better chance, Wayne. 134. Steve Hewitt won 98. If this leg goes by the wayside, then Webby will be thrown for the match again. Double 18 now. 62. This is a pro's favourite. Bullseye or the semi bullseye? Well, I think he's tried to play a bit safe there. I think he's tried to just make sure you hit the 25 at least. It was thrown with no confidence a bit of a, a loopy dart 92. the thing about this double 18 the way Steele's been pulling darts if he pulls it into the 18 he's got to chase their nines which is not a good route this is not a good route the double nine is a killer we've seen it so many times with the dart players and now Mark Webster three clear darts to win this match for the place in the second round Webby should be pleased. Please as punch. He beats Stephen Bunting, last year's semi-finalist. Mark Webster will play Adrian Lewis or Raymond Van Barneveld in the second round. Coming up next, we have Benito van der Pass, and he will take on the Hurricane, Kim Hyrex.